Hello everyone, I am Mario Master 771 and welcome to Super Mario Flash 2 and 3's auto scroll guide video. Okay, now I'm starting out with A1, which is your basic basic vertical scrolling. Yeah, you see those all of these tiles just scrolling down fluently. Yeah, those tiles are all placed in layer 1. But if they are placed in layer 2, you'll see what happens when I first beat this small level. Yeah, do keep in mind that all of these levels I have made for this video may not have the best scenery, tiling or gameplay. They, are, they were made for testing purposes and to show you guys how the auto scrolls work. Okay, so watch out. Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay, let's take a look at the editor. Okay, okay, so there's your A1 sprite and all of the tiling, which is in layer 1, as you can see. But, if you place any tile in layer 2 on the first screen, it just stays there. It just follows you through the through the entire level. Yeah, just stay in this in the exact same spot and be a burden to your experience. But if you don't put it layer two tile on the first screen, it will it just won't show up at all. Okay, so A1 but, uh, vertical scrolling, but you can use layer two tiles for for certain themes. Like I'll show you when we move to. Super Mario Flash 3. Alright. Okay, so this is also A1, but you see these elevator and chains? Those are placed in layer 2. And all of them are placed in the first screen you see. Because if they're not, they just won't show up at all. And and might create might create possible might create possible cutoffs. Cut and you definitely don't want to do that. Okay, so this is a um, simple challenge I thought of. Nothing extraordinary, nothing special. Oh! <laughs> At least I... I made the player use a mushroom. It's advantage. Oh my god! It survived the blocks. Okay, done. Okay, the elevator thingy. It's in layer 2. Remember, layer 2 isn't affected by A1, nor A2, or the scroll 2. But it, it, will make, it will make everything placed in layer 1 scroll down. Just like you've seen. Okay, that's it. Oh, on another note, in Super Mario Flash 3, I almost forgot, it has these different colored auto scrolls. They behave the, the exact same way as the other auto scrolls. The only thing different is the speed. You see, the green color means it's the normal speed or slow. Yellow means fast, which is faster. Faster is the orange one. And Red is the fastest, and believe me, it is fast as hell. I've seen a lot of some people use these different colored auto scrolls for more challenging and faster paced levels because um, the normal auto scrolls can be a little bit tedious to play under. Okay, that's A1. Okay, now we're going to take a look at layer um, auto scroll 2, which is the, your basic horizontal scrolling. Yeah, just a simple level, simple athletic level overworld. Yeah, nothing else to it. Oh, just died there. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was that was easier than I expected. Yeah, just an ordinary uh, horizontal scrolling. 
Nothing much to it. Yeah. And the scroll stops at the very end of the level. Oh, just crashed the game. Never press X at this timing, because then you have to click quit. So, like A1, if you place anything in layer 2 in the first screen, it stays there. And you have to bear with it. And if if you place that if you don't place that layer two tile off the first uh, on the first screen, it just doesn't show up at all, just like you have seen in the, with A1. But fortunately, you can take advantage of that. Um, you can, for example, create tank levels with with that gimmick, and just like you have seen with the elevator gimmick with A1. Or anything you, you would please, Sim something similar to an elevator. And in A2's case, something similar to a tank invasion. Like we're gonna see in this SMF3 level. Alright. Yeah, see, this is also A2. And these floor tiles are in layer 2. But the tanks are in layer 1. Yeah, there are some kudos with the tanks, but that doesn't matter for this video. What truly matters is how the other scroll works. Yeah, just to clarify. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cutoffs. That doesn't matter for now. But it does matter when you're making a level for real, but for this video it doesn't matter. Just for showing your poses. Yeah. It's a simple boom-boom cave with a background changer. Ah, just died. Anyway. Yeah, you place the, the ground tiles in layer 2, but you tile tanks like this in layer 1. Yeah, they look might look a bit off screen, but they will come at you, don't worry. They just come a little too slow. And I'll show you how to use the different colored scrolls. Let's try the, the yellow A2, which is um, a fast one. Yeah, it's fast. It's a more considerable considerable speed for this challenge. Now let's try the orange... No, actually the red one. <laughs> Just for the sake of it. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I died. <laughs> Whoa. Everything's so fast. Help. This is hell. Yeah, how do you even do to... Yeah, here we go. That had a boom boom fight. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Red, sh red scrolls sure are fast. <laughs> but the red speed, or the fastest, are only is only available for other scrolls 1 and 2. The basic scrollings, unfortunately. Or fortunately for those who aren't good, like me. <laughs> okay, so I got other scroll 2 covered up for you. Okay, on to other scroll 3. So, I've made this cave example... Okay, see those yellow cave tiles? Those are placed in layer 2. And the rest is in layer 1, obviously. So, Auto Scroll 3 makes anything placed in layer 2 move up and down by 7 tiles. Yeah, I counted them. Okay, so... Let's beat this level! Oh god. Why? Let's do it again. You know nothing. Okay. Yeah, so when you want when you want to use A3, keep in mind that the the layer 2 tiles will must be placed on top. So they'll when you whenever you start a level, they'll they'll start going down. So you might as well place them at the top. So, if you place them at the bottom, it just will go below the screen, and that's not good. That's not how you want to do this auto scroll. Make sure they always they always start start from the top, and yeah, they'll go up and down by seven tiles. I counted them. Counted them. I mean, 
well, that's it for Elder Scroll 3. Oh, another note. Super Mario Flash 3 has a different speed for a for Elder Scroll 3, but only in the yellow color on the fast mode. That means you the orange the orange and red colors do not have a 3, only a 1 and a 2. So, sorry about that hardcore fans. Don't you worry because all the procedures shown in with with A3 also it works exactly the same in Super Mario Flash 3 because SMF3 was created from Super Mario Flash 2 so they share the same auto scroll properties and physics so not to worry anyway auto scroll number 4 ah this is a different one okay A4 makes every tile placed in layer 1 move up and down uh, uh, gradually by two tiles up and down and another important advice you don't want to focus your gameplay on the top try to focus on the middle middle and slightly at the bottom very slightly at the bottom because if you place it, place it too much on the top um, you Mario will not be visible and you can't you don't we won't know where you are and believe me I learned that the hard way <laughs> okay let's try to beat this level for real I'm doing too badly here okay um, let's see what I'm doing ah yeah, Tiling's not that fancy, but it's just a, a test, a testing level, so it's all right. Yeah, and the, sc the scroll will stop at the very end, at the far right. So yeah, A4 moves every tile placed in layer t one. Sorry by two tiles very slowly like you have seen and important try the important thing always focus your gameplay on the center of the screen rather on than on top because you won't be you won't be able to even see mario or the obstacles that might be up a, up, up there yeah don't do that but like with uh, scroll 1 and 2 you can also place some tiles in layer 2 to your advantage. With A4 you can create some some boat some boats level like you'll see with this Super Mario Flash 3 level. You can also do some cool things with la with layer 2 tiles like this water for example if you're using A4. This makes up for um, a boat gimmick, a boat scroll gimmick like you you'll see. Yeah. If you want the, the water to to foreground the airship, make sure you switch the, the layer order. Okay, let's just beat this quickly. Very short, just to show you show you off the theme. Yeah, in order for the water to be in front, it has to layer two has to be first. If you switch the order, it will look like this. But you, it looks much better this way. So yeah, that's A4 for you. And you can, it's also available in the yellow speed, which is the fast one. But not available in, in the orange or red speeds. Alright, back to Super Mario Flash 2. Just to show you off how A5 works. So it starts off with a, a horizontal scroll, but then it goes up and then goes down. Yeah, there's a little cutoff here, which I'll explain.
All right, so A5 starts off with an horizontal scroll, but then goes up by four tiles, and and then goes down with by four tiles too. Um, this going up and down uh, events happen within an interval of three seconds, three seconds of horizontal scrolling, and you don't when using A5, you don't want to make your level too short because it will create a, an, ex, an extra cutoff on top, like you have seen. So be sure to have at least a hundred height um, visible on the editor. At least one hundred height. And I think that's it for A5. Oh, and I forgot to mention that A5 is also available in faster speeds. On, I'm sorry, the, in faster speed, the, the yellow speed in Super Mario Flash 3. And A5 isn't you is one of the least used auto scrolls. But now we move on to Auto Scroll 6, the trickiest auto scroll to use. You use the this one for the rising lava levels, like we have seen in New Super Mario Brothers levels, and those those spikes challenge. Yeah, see? Lava is rising from the bottom and will land on the top. Yeah, it's a very simple level, I know, just for testing purposes, really. Okay, but how does this work? Um, first off, you have to put your layer two as the default layer. By doing that, by doing that, you go to the settings, go to la def layer, and put it to layer two, and then on the editor. Um, I'm sorry. And then you put your, your lava or spikes on top of the level in layer 2, everything else in layer 1. So you don't have to, you, you shouldn't have much, add much, much scenery. And be sure to leave a, a small gap of 2 or 3 tiles at the bottom. Or so, um, or even 1 tile, one, 1 tile gap is fine. But you, but if you want this to work, you have to place the lava in layer two, like you can, like you're seeing here, and on the top of the screen. But that's not all. Let's go to the bottom and check your the um, the starting point position, two thousand. So then you go to your layer two position and you write, you write um, whatever your height is, where wherever you start off, and um, you check. Um, your position at the top left corner, it will indicate where, where you are, and you write down um, the coordinates. I added two extra 200 height, just just to be sure, as a, it do, I don't want the, um, the lava or spikes to start too close up to the player. That's important. Give some space to the player and some time to react for fairness. Otherwise, you're not gonna go get good rates. Remember, uh, default layering like the platforms, enemies in layer 1, uh, lava and spikes in layer 2. Yeah, it, it, this also works the same way in Super Mario Flash 2, don't worry. I have tested it and it does work. But, A6 also has a, a faster speed, only in yellow though. Um, let's see. Yep. Let's see how, how, how this turns out. Oh, it, it wasn't layer 1. Sorry. Now it, now it's correct. Whoa! Oh god, I, fast Mario, come on! You can do it! Yeah! Yeah, there's also a faster A6. Only in Super Mario Flash 3. Oh, you've been wondering... What what are these um, S L V and H? Those are sc actual actually scroll locks, both vertical and horizontal scroll locks, depending on the AI and on telling places. Okay, so I'll be right back and show you how it works. You probably remember this level. So, in order to use um, scroll locks, you have to get rid of the other scrolls. Because those don't work in other scrolls. 
um, SLH, which is the uh, horizontal scroll lock, um, works this way. You place it, and you, that's it. You, it stays in one, it stays at the right boundary. But without it, you just progress to the to the right. Yeah. Okay, so the same can be applied for vertical scroll lock, but you get, you can't use both at the same time. You you have to use separately. Okay, let's play some vertical scroll lock just to show you how it works. Just simply place it when it says SLV, and it doesn't go up. It just stays on this on this eye. And that's pretty much it. That's about every scroll you possible to do in Super Mario Flash 2 and 3. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you, you found this video helpful. And I'll see you next time.